Hey, who's that? <laughs> who's that, Peach? Excuse me, you got a little extra person in there. Hello guys, welcome to today's video. The light of my life, my little baby girl, Tic Tac. She is now one, which means she is technically a yearling. It is insane how quickly the time has gone. So instead of doing a year in review video, I thought it would be fun to look back and just appreciate how much she has changed from one week to one month to now one year. But first, let's go back to where it all began because as a lot of you guys know, she was not actually planned. So, in 2018, I was actually after another horse. I wanted a project of some kind, something young, something to just keep me busy and hopefully something to eventually event. I ended up seeing an ad for a very cute three-year-old thoroughbred cross stock horse mare who had only just, just been broken in. I thought she looked cute. She wasn't exactly what I was after, especially because she was so small and so young. But I went and saw her anyways because I just had a feeling about her and I rode her for the first time and she was absolutely amazing. She had literally, I think, been ridden about eight times when I went to go and try her, so I definitely had no expectations about how she was gonna sort of go, and she just was so well behaved, had such a beautiful temperament, and was super, super cute. And um, yeah, the rest is history. I ended up buying her and bringing her home not very long after. Are you ready for this big reveal? Ta-da! I should probably have taken her fly mask off. Ta-da! Final reveal! <laughs> and then for the next few months we did a little bit of ridden work and then Peach went on a break and it was all smooth sailing. Until... Little Peach here has a bit of a tongue going on, which is true. She's definitely not pregnant. Definitely not pregnant. Not pregnant. Peach is pregnant. And so the mad rush to prep for our surprise fall began. So the first step was to prep a birthing paddock. This is the paddock we ended up choosing because it had the fall safe fencing. But as you guys can see, there was a ton of old manure and old hay in there. We literally ended up filling an entire truckload, <laughs> getting it all out. We then moved Peach into that paddock and it was time for me to prep a stable as well. So Tic Tac, those of you who don't remember, was actually born out of season in Australia. It was winter, so the weather was pretty disgusting. So we wanted to make sure we had a stable as backup so that they could sleep in there at night when it gets a bit too cold and gross for them to be outside. Then began the very long wait and watch. So pretty much every day I would check Peach multiple times to see if there were any signs that she was getting close to falling because of course we didn't actually know a specific conception date. So it was all a little bit of estimation <laughs> right up until the birth. We ended up having one false labor, but then four days later, little Tic Tac arrived. So this is day one of week one. This is pretty much our one, I think, actually. This is a very fresh Tic Tac. It's really surreal looking back at this because I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe this little unplanned thing that was so unexpected is finally here and it's all real. And I'm so thankful even to this day that the birth for Peach went so, so smoothly. It is like she had studied, she'd read her textbooks, she did everything the exact timing that it was supposed to go by and just everything went so well which was so fantastic. So Peach did have Tic Tac out in the paddock and then we found her I think about 10 minutes after the birth and so quickly shuffled them into the stable because typical mare Peach had her first thing in the morning right before a huge hailstorm and literally we got them in the stable and then the hail all started coming down so I'm so glad we got them in there because that would not have been fun. It took Tic Tac a little while to figure out where the milk was located but once she did she did not stop drinking it was just drink and sleep and drink and sleep we had the vet come out both girls were happy and healthy and we got the tick of approval and pretty much peach and tic tac both spent the rest of the day just resting up so day two and tic tac was already ready to go it's so funny looking back at this but her personality was already so apparent so early she was constantly in my space she always wanted to see what i was doing she was so curious anytime i went in there to try and clean out the stable she would just be like on top of me the entire time and you can definitely see that her confidence was just there from day one. She was um, always a very confident little foal. This was their first run in the yard, which is a very big adventure for Tic Tac. She found it very exciting and was running her mum around <laughs> all over the place. A cute little scruff. Uh, but this was a big day for them and Tic Tac absolutely crashed that night. She slept for ages after this.
Then on day four or five, I want to say this is, we took the girls out for the first time into the big paddock, which was where Tic Tac was born, but hadn't been out there since. And let's just say it was more than a little bit exciting for Tic Tac to have so much room to stretch out those little stick legs. She was absolutely pinging with energy. And poor Paige, I felt so bad for her. She was just trying to stick right to Tic Tac's side the whole time. And it was absolutely running her ragged. Peach was such a natural, great mum, like from the get-go. She was though, I will say, a bit overly concerned about where Tic Tac was at all times, probably for like the first two months. I feel like after that, it really, the novelty of that really wore off for her. And it's funny because she never had a problem with people being around Tic Tac or anything like that, but she just had like this one meter rule. She just wanted Tic Tac by her side at all times and Tic Tac with a little confident personality would constantly try and run off from Paige. And yeah, like I said, it just, she ran her around so much. I felt so bad for her this day. I was like, give your mum a break. Like she literally pushed you out four days ago. <laughs> And then not too long after the birth, so I guys, introduced I you all to Tic Tac to for the very first time. Very so this is actually her first family. ever YouTube video. Say hello, little one. I know what you're thinking. You thought it was going to be an orange and it's a bay. <laughs> on to month one. And what was surprising for me is the size difference that occurred from week one to month one. Tic Tac was just under 100 centimeters when she was born. I didn't measure it officially, so this is like rough and she grew about 10 or 15 centimeters in the first month alone and definitely started to chunk up. You can definitely see that she's already starting to look more like her solid little self that she looks like now. And this is definitely when like the sass and the personality really, really started to come through. She was such a playful little thing, as you'd expect, you know. She's a foal after all, but I feel like she was especially playful. And every time I'd go into the paddock, she just wanted to run up to me. She wanted to meet me to play. And I feel like this is when her and I really started to bond as well, which was really, really nice. I didn't do any sort of handling or training with her other than the foal shuffle, which is when I would just like put my arms around her and just kind of like move her around so that I could begin prepping her for the idea of leading. And oh my God, this was like one of those moments where I literally wanted to cry. This is like the moment that I really wanted. I just was like, I just want you to like lie down with me like one time. And when she did, oh my God, it was just magic. I feel like Peach really started to bounce back a bit after a month as well. She was definitely feeling much more herself and chilling out a little bit too. Not feeling the need to like run after Tic Tac every time she ran off on Peach. And I started doing a lot of grooming with Tic Tac early on as well just to get her used to me like touching her ears, her legs, under her tummy. Um, just to do little bits every day and it was helpful that I had them in the stable at night because I meant I was literally handling her twice a day every day. Because Peach was such a sensible mum, like it was really easy to forget that she herself was a really young horse. Like she's only three years old, um, about to be four in this video clips. And you can really see like the young horse curiosity coming through because every time I would have my camera out, both of them would be like aggressively trying to touch the camera the entire time. So it made it really hard to film them. And then of course, if I got distracted by one, then the other one would be literally breathing on the lens, trying to push my camera over. So from one month to a year, a lot happened, but let me just give you guys the highlights. Fletch met Tic Tac for the very first time. <coughs> Peach warned him to be nice, and he was, but Tic Tac probably still wasn't really that sure about him. The sass only continued to increase. I started doing some groundwork and training with Tic Tac. She wore her halter for the very first time and was an absolute star. Like basically as long as she's getting scratches, she's happy to do whatever. She grew a lot and soon it was actually time to wean her from Peach, which was quite a sad day, I have to say. But I think Peach was happy to be out with the other young horses and to be able to actually put some weight on again. Tic Tac got to meet her new friend, an older broodmare called Fren. 
Tic Tac was a little bit put out after the weaning, but Friend was such a sweet lady. It honestly wasn't long before they were like attached at the hip. Things got a bit eventful. The night before I was supposed to go to another state to go and watch the Adelaide three day event, Tic Tac actually went super lame. Turned out to be a very, very bad abscess in her hoof. Got it sorted, still managed to get to Adelaide, but not long after she had a colic scare, which again was incredibly stressful. So I'm so lucky she is super tough. She was totally fine and she was soon back to harassing Fren constantly. Fren was so sweet. She was the nicest mare, but unfortunately we couldn't keep her forever. So we had to find a replacement babysitter and that came in the form of Pepsi. Fren was not impressed. Pepsi and Tic Tac were together for almost a year, but we knew we probably needed to find a slightly more energetic paddock mate for Tic Tac because Pepsi was an older guy and he kind of wasn't here for all of her nonsense. And to be honest, I spent a lot of time trying to compensate for that and going in and playing with her, but even I was not giving her as much playtime as she wanted. One more abscess later, which was fun again, <laughs> recovered from that just in time to meet her new paddock mate, Bliss. So at first Tic Tac was very protective over Pepsi, but it was not long before her and Bliss became absolute little partners in crime and would combine their powers to harass everyone and everything that come within their path. Fast forward and what felt like literally no time at all and Tic Tac is now one, officially a yearling and really starting to look like a mini horse now. By one Tic Tac had made it to 14 hands, so she was roughly 145 centimeters tall, just under. I know that everyone always sees her on Instagram and they always comment about how much she has grown, but I still don't think she'll get too much bigger than Peach. I think she'll just surpass her. So maybe get to 16 hands if she's lucky. Training wise, to be honest, I haven't done that much more with her. I've done a lot of leading and general handling, but she's still so young. And also Bliss hates it when I take Tic Tac too far away from her. So I've kind of just let them chill together and just be young horses and not put too much pressure on her to learn to tie up and float and all those sort of things. I've mostly spent time teaching her how to lead a little bit more nicely. For a while she was kind of not giving me enough personal space when I was leading her. She was a little bit on top of me, um, but she's so much better with it now. And then I've taught her just to hold a little bit about stepping backwards and just getting the general idea of sort of pressure and release. Um, and she's picking it up all really, really well. Now the picking up of hooves, that was not the easiest thing after all the abscesses because obviously we were constantly picking up her feet to dig at them and put bandages on them and they were sore. So she got a bit upset with us and Finally, after quite a bit of work, she's trusting me again and being really good to pick up her feet, letting me pick out her hooves. So I'm glad we've finally gotten over that bridge because it took a little while. The poor little thing was a bit scarred, which is understandable. And of course, there are lots of scratches given out as a reward. I still like to groom her pretty often. I find it's a good way to teach her the idea of parking herself. So when the halter's on, she just needs to stand still and let me kind of walk around and not move anywhere which also should eventually help me out when I need to teach her to tie up for the first time and she should already have an idea in her mind of what's sort of required. And yes, Tic Tac definitely inherited Peach's mane and tail. She has so much hair and I am constantly untangling dreadlocks out of her mane. It is so thick and there's just so much of it. It doesn't seem to matter how much I brush it. She's really good at scruffing it up. And she's actually almost got a fully grown tail now as well. She's just the hairiest little thing. And as you can see, she has really mastered the whole idea of parking herself. She's gotten really good with it. I actually read something the other day that said horses don't really enjoy being groomed as much as you think they might. But it's like, hello, have you seen Tic Tac and Bliss? They literally like fight over me when I bring the brushes into the paddock because they both want scratches so badly. Tic Tac's growth has been absolutely insane from that first week. Even to the first month, it was such a drastic change, but now to year one, you can really see that she's developed and grown so, so much. And looking back just makes me like, feel so emotional and so happy that I have her. It was such an unexpected thing, but needless to say, Tic Tac being born has really been like one of the highlights of my life. And she's such a special little horse. And I'm so excited that one day, I will get to share with all of you guys our first ride. It's like something I'm so looking forward to. But until then guys, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you all very soon. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because it does really help me out and I will be uploading much more frequently over the next few months. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. Both accounts are hen.equestrian. See you guys next week.
Two, three. Uh, 